Welcome to the second part of the fourth lesson in desktop UI automation in Leapwork. We've split lesson four into two parts to make it easier to consume the little more advanced features covered in these lessons. In this video, we'll continue to look at the strategy editor and look at dynamic fields in the strategy editor. Using dynamic field allow us to inject values into the conditions behind the strategy and in this way change that Leapwork will capture on the fly. Imagine we wanted to verify that the search functionality in the demo application was working correctly. We would do this by searching for a list of search terms and for each search term verify that we can find a specific contact person or a company. This would require that we change the contact person we were looking for as part of the flow, which is a good example on how we can use dynamic fields. We start out very simple by opening the demo application and logging on as usual. We then have a block inserting a search term, in this case the word Cruzo, and ending up with clicking on the Go button to perform the actual search. When we run the flow, we can see that the search term Cruzo returns the contact person Robinson Crusoe. To verify that this search worked correctly, we'll add a find UI element. And capture the company name from the first column. If the company name is found, We'll pass the case. To really verify the search, we want to do multiple searches and we'll use a read Excel block to do this. I'll add an Excel block before the set value block. reconnect and configure it to work with a file on my local machine. Search verification and click define to define which portions of the sheet to use. The Excel sheet has two columns, search term and company name and three data rows containing matching pairs of search terms and company names. We'll select all of it, use the first row's header, and click Save. I want to use all three data rows in the Excel sheet, so I expand the Excel block and select Iterate. As showed in previous lessons, this means that the top connector will execute for all data rows. I connect the search term directly to the set value block. So the value in the Excel sheet will be inserted into the search field for each data row. The next thing is to add the company name to the find UI element block, which is looking for the cell containing the company name. In order to get this connected, we'll have to add a dynamic field into the strategy. We open the strategy editor by clicking on the captured element and click edit element. I'll just expand a bit. When we look at the first strategy, we can see that it selects the cell based on the text inside the cell. In this case, the company name. This is exactly the value that we want to set for each of the data rows in the Excel sheet. To achieve this, we'll select and remove the hard-coded value and right-click in the field, click Insert Token and choose Add New Field. This inserts a token or a dynamic field within the condition. When I click Save, this new field is available in the building block, like this. And it'll allow us to connect easily the value from the Excel sheet. 
like so. When the test case runs, it will go so fast that it actually can be a bit hard to see what's going on. So I'll do a wait block for each search. And I'll just set it for a single second. And the last thing we need to do is to remember to move the pass block down to the completed connector on the Excel building block. So it's not executed until all the searches are successful. After closing the demo application, let's try and run the entire flow again. and it passed, meaning that all companies were indeed found after each search. In this lesson, we've looked at how we can use dynamic fields in the strategy editor. It makes that very easy to drive the cases with external data. We use the same building block to find different elements based on data from the Excel sheet. This ends part two of lesson four.